All right, today's video, we're gonna be removing and replacing a front axle CV joint uh, from a 2003 Hyundai Sonata. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take off the wheel. You got your 21 millimeter for the nuts, the lug nuts, you take the wheel off. Okay, then you're gonna come over here. Okay, you're gonna have an 18 millimeter. First, it's gonna have, it's gonna have a cotter pin in there. You see this, the, uh, this is the uh, nut. And it's gonna have a cotter pin like this. Take the cotter pin out. Take the bolt out. Now, if you don't have a separator, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use a big hammer like this and strike it. You see how, how the, the, um, the steering goes this way? You wanna strike it the opposite way, this way. Okay, you hit it here. Don't hit it here. Hit it here, a nice couple of shots right here. Don't try not to hit the threads. Keep the keep the nut on so you don't mess up the threads. A couple of whacks and she'll pop right out. All right. Like it. Uh, a lot harder than that. I had already uh, re uh, loosened it, but you get the idea. Okay, you get that out of the way, and now she moves like this. And this is going to be. Um, I don't know what it is in millimeter, maybe 33, but I'm using a one and a quarter. Let me see. Uh, yeah, a one and a quarter. If it's on there, nice and snug. Okay, you take that out, and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, now once you got that nut off, you don't take this one off. You take these, one and two. Okay, and this basically the um, lower ball joint just stays in place. You don't have to mess with this one. That's an 18 millimeter. You take those out. Okay, then you come around here. See if you can get like a punch or something, and just like hit it with a, a mallet. Don't hit the threads themselves. If you well, you're not going to reuse it, but still, just don't. It's it's good practice just to use a, like a thick punch and a hammer just to push the uh, axle a little bit past. So it's uh, it uh, releases through the uh, wheel bearing, hub bearing. Okay, here here's the separator. We take those uh, 18s out. I think there was uh, 17 or maybe, uh, yeah, because I had 18. It was a little bit sloppy, but I didn't want to go get another one. But it came out anyway. Eight, uh, see, this is where it goes over here and here. And the whole thing slides out. And that's the reason why we're replacing it. And you, you hit it, like I said until it pops out and see the whole thing basically slides nice and you could just okay all right now once you have that out like that then you're gonna get a crowbar and you're gonna put it in here and through there you get a crowbar and you pop it out of it's a there's a circlip in there uh, a little fluid may fall, but not that much. Okay, like here's the other one on this side. You see how you would just get it and pop it out the same way. And this one, you get it over here. And right, I'll do that, take it out. Okay, so I use the crow crowbar. You see how it's, it's away over there? Let me show you. I got this in there like this and just popped it out. Now, this car, this particular model, the four cylinder, it has a decent amount that's coming out. When I said not that much comes out, so whatever comes out, you have to catch it. So it's good to have a, a drain pan there, and whatever comes out, that's what you have to put back in, okay? I thought it was just gonna leak a little bit. Some of them do. This one is a little bit more, like it's still leaking. So it could have leaked at least a half a quart. So like I said, whatever comes out, you just put back in, all right? So now, you just grab this. And you see how it comes right out? And it's still dripping. Yeah, so that was a decent amount. I'm, uh, so I'll just make a note of that. See, it's still coming out. But like I said, no big deal. Let's pull the shaft out. Okay, now when you're getting, putting the new one in, make sure it's the same. It looks the same, it's the same length. Okay, I, cause a matter of fact, I just had one, it was wrong. I had to send it back. Uh, some of them have the rubber dampening, the better quality ones have this. 
it's a, for a little less vibration. This one doesn't have it, but you know, that's up to you. And now this one has uh, a ring for the ABS. Uh, my, my car doesn't have ABS, so it doesn't really matter. This, this manufacturer makes it for both uh, ABS and non-ABS. So if you don't have it, no big deal. This ring is just, it's not going to do anything and it's not in the way of nothing. But you just got to make sure your length is here. This is the same length. You know, overall, the whole thing all the way to the back is the same. And, you know, and it all looks the same. And that's it. And then you just install it. I'm going to just put it in and show you. Good idea to put some um, transmission fluid on the threads of, on the uh, spline right here and where the seal rides in the tranny, all right, before installing it. Okay, once you line it up on the tranny, make sure when you, you're sliding it in, you feel it grip the, uh, the gear inside, all right? You move this out of the way, or you can just like, tie it out of the way, all right? Once you feel resistance, hear that? Now, what you do, what I do, is I back the um, the nut the opposite way. The crown is over here, the opposite way. All right, make sure you're flush, and now get a nice mallet, maybe a soft mallet, but a heavy mallet, and, and you hit it a couple of times until it uh, seats in there. Now, look underneath here. Okay, see how it's nice and seated? Okay, there you know you're in. And what you do is get a little carburetor current, and spray this all up, blow it, make sure it's dry. And when you put the uh, transmission fluid back in, you want to make sure you check for leaks. All right. And a, a considerable amount of tranny fluid came out. So you want to keep note. Also, if you're doing this on the floor, the car is going to be raised. You may not get that much of leakage. I'm on a lift, so the car is straight. So maybe that's why it, it leaked a little bit more. But that's just a note. All right. Okay. Now, before you put this side in, um, see this little flange here? You want to make sure it's pretty straight. And you don't want it to, when you're in here, what you can do is just clean this up um, with a screwdriver or something or a little, you know, um, a little uh, chisel or something, you know, clean it all up so when you put the uh, CV joint in, it doesn't hit anything or make a noise or a squeak. That'll drive you crazy. All right, that's just another quick tip before you install it. Okay, and once you install the nut and the cotter pin, make sure she turns freely. It's hard to do it. Uh, on hand, but here we go. Make sure it turns. Uh, that little rubbing you hear, that's just the brakes. Okay. And then put your uh, tie rod end butt back. Uh, let me do that. Okay. Now, once you're done with everything, what I like to do is spray all the areas where it leaked. You know, get them all clean with some carburetor, uh, some uh, brake cleaner. All right, make sure it's dry, clean up everything. And on the rotors, when you touch them, clean up everything nice. You see the new joint there? And let it dry and make sure it's nice and dry. So when you fill it up with the, the, um, the tranny fluid and your test driver, you go underneath there, you'll know right away if there's any leaks. There shouldn't be. Okay, so when you fill it up, here's the, um, Auto, automatic transmission fluid stick you take this out and you put the fluid in through here whatever you took out okay and then after that you test drive it uh, make sure everything sounds good and you just save yourself about 500 bucks all right guys motor car nut please subscribe hit the like button check out my other videos i got so many uh saving tips uh save you a lot of money on all all aspects of all automotive all right guys bye